Hello, my name is Nick King. I'm here to show you about the Chrysler 8.4 inch Uconnect system. It comes in two forms, 8.4A and 8.4N. The A stands for access, which means you're gonna get all these great features here, except you won't have navigation. However, you can get navigation and you can upgrade the software by going into a Chrysler dealership and they can up upgrade you to navigation. This one here is an 8.4N because it does have the navigation feature on it. So moving from left to right, I'm gonna show you a few options that can help guide you through the Uconnect system. The first is the radio. The radio, you have AM, FM, and satellite radio. To set a station, it's very simple. You just touch and hold up here, and it'll set your station. So within satellite radio, you have a favorites option. And what this means is, you have 50 favorite artists, 50 favorite songs that you can set. To set that, you would just press favorite and say add favorite artist or song, so we'll add favorite artist. So what this means is if you were on channel 84 and your favorite artist that you set or your favorite song that you set was on another channel, you'll get a little indication up here to say, hey, if you would like to switch and listen to one of your favorite songs or artists, they're on this channel and you can easily go ahead and listen to them so you don't miss that song or favorite artist that's playing on another station. Moving to the right, you have media. You have the ability to, through USB, play music as far as you can have your phone plugged in and charging and you can play the music right through your phone. You have the auxiliary option. All that is right here. You'll have an auxiliary port, a USB port, and an SD card. The auxiliary option is, is you can plug, if you have an iPod or any MP3 player, in from your device into the vehicle here, and it'll play the music for you. Bluetooth is the most popular feature. A lot of these new cars now don't even come standard with a CD player anymore, because our lives revolve around this device right here, and all of our music typically is going to be on this. So we can go ahead and I'll show you in a minute here how to pair your phone and then you'll be able to play your music from your phone without plugging anything in and through your speakers. The SD card, you have the ability to save files and music on an SD card and plug it in and be able to play music from that as well. If you go over here to controls, these controls will vary on the options of the car. Right now we're in a Grand Cherokee Summit very loaded vehicle so it has a lot of great options on it um, this right here you can control your heated seats in the summertime when it's hot and humid here you can go ahead and hit your ventilated seat it's like sitting on an air hockey table it pulls some it blows some very cold air through the seats to cool you down and then you also have a heated steering wheel moving to the right here for climate there's a few different ways that you can adjust the climate you can use the touch screen here to move the temperature up and down you can set where you want the air to come out of and you can also adjust the fan speed there's another way you can do it and that's just the good old-fashioned way of just turning this knob right here and it'll adjust the fan speed and you can use the buttons here as well if that's your comfort level moving to the right this icon right here is going to be the main difference between the 8.4 a and the n when you have the end, that means you have navigation already in the vehicle. So this icon is going to be here. Again, if you don't have it and you decide later that when you get a car that has an 8.4A, you can bring it right here to the Chrysler dealership and they will upgrade the software for a minimal amount. I'm going to press the navigation button and it's going to give you a few options. Where to, view map, information and emergency. We're just gonna work with the where to and the map here. Where to, it's a very cool option. You touch this right here, and it's gonna say, you can put in an address, all your recent um, places that you've gone to, points of interest, you can put in your favorites, um, an intersection. Let's just go to point of interest here. Point of interest, it's gonna give you a lot of different options. So you're on the road, and you don't know where to eat or you know you're trying to find a bank that you bank with so you don't have to pay the extra fee to get money out of an ATM you can press ATM and banking and it's going to populate all the banks in an area how far they are 
and then you would have the ability to touch that location that you want to go to and it's going to go right into the GPS navigation and you'll have voice guidance to get you there. So I'm going to press the back arrow to go back. Hotels and motels, if you go to all places of interest, it's going to populate a couple different places. Um, besides gas stations, hospitals, highway exits, etc. I'm going to keep pressing back here and we're going to go to view map. So going into this map, um, right now you can see that you can zoom in and out and kind of give you a good little overview of the area. Once you're driving on this top screen here, it'll actually show you the next street that you're going to cross. In the bottom right corner, there will actually be a little sign that shows you the speed limit. And when you get into the city, this will actually populate 3D mapping of the buildings around you. Now, a key point is, if you, your car came with the 8.4N navigation, you will get the 3D mapping. If you get an 8.4A and you decide a few, you know, a few months from now you're going on a road trip and you bring it in to get the navigation put on it, it will have navigation, however, it will not have the 3D mapping. If you go here to options, there's a few different things that you can do. For example, you can go to map setup, you can look for the speed limit, you can have warnings set. So if you're going too fast, it'll let you know, hey, slow down, don't get a ticket especially if you're in an unfamiliar area. You can set that warning, keep yourself from getting points on your license. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get out of navigation and I'm gonna go to phone. This is very, very simple to pair a phone. Right now it's asking me, would I like to pair a phone? Go to Bluetooth, I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth on. So right now the vehicle is communicating with my phone. Bluetooth says, okay, let's pair the phone. So I'm gonna press pair on my phone. I'm gonna press accept here. When the dots are going across the screen, what that means is that this vehicle is communicating with my phone. So right now, my phone is paired. It says connected here, and it says that it supports it. So I'm gonna press okay. You can always tell when your phone is paired because whatever name you have for your phone, it happens to be my name, it'll show on the screen. It's gonna show the battery life of your phone and it's also gonna show the signal that you have. Once you pair, give it a couple more minutes because what it's doing is it's gonna load your phone book. So now my phone is paired and I can go to phone book here and it's gonna show all the different people that are in my phone book. So I'm gonna exit out of that and go back to here. So what this means now is my phone is paired. I don't ever have to pair it again. Anytime my Bluetooth is on and I get in the car, if you give it about 30 seconds, the car and your phone will communicate. You'll be good to go. You just proceed and start driving. If someone calls you, the music is going to fade down. It's going to tell you who's calling you. And you have the ability to press answer here, answer on the steering wheel, or you could just answer it from your phone. And then keep your hands on the wheel and just talk as I'm talking now. And the people will come, whoever you're talking to is going to come out of the speakers. Once this phone is paired as well, you'd be able to open up your iTunes and play whatever music you want. And you would just go to media and press Bluetooth and it'll play that song. The last option is the very, I guess, latest option that would be on this device. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to grab and touch this Uconnect apps. Now what this is, is when you purchase or lease the vehicle, what you want to do is you want to go to Uconnect Registration. Basically, you're going to fill out your email address and all the other information it wants and you're going to press OK. From the next step is you would go to a computer and you would complete the registration. Once you've completed this registration, you have the ability to go on to um, iTunes App Store to download the Uconnect Access app. Or with an Android, you can go to the, I believe it's the Google Play Store, download the same app. Once you've downloaded the app, you then have the ability to unlock your car and start your car from your phone. You also have the ability then, 
and I'm gonna go back here to do a few other things with this vehicle. And what this vehicle is gonna do is it's gonna be running basically in real time. You can download apps such as Yelp. And so if you're on vacation, you can figure out the closest area, the closest place in the area to get tacos, pizza, etc. You can also download apps such as Pandora to get music. You can also, when this is probably the best feature, if you're on a road trip, you can you have the ability to turn your car into a mobile hotspot. It's a fee for a day and then there's a monthly fee. But say you're driving and you're in the car for 12 hours, everybody has some type of tablet or device that they're working with now. For 10 bucks, you can turn this car into a mobile hotspot for the day and someone in the front who has an iPad can be on Netflix. Someone in the back could be on Hulu watching a movie and someone could be shopping on Amazon on another tablet. Keep up and if you're with business, be informed and be entertained. This right here is your complete rundown. With the Uconnect navigation and through Sirius XM radio, you get it free for one year and then you would have to pay for a subscription. But you also get what's called the travel link. The travel link is awesome. So you can go here and press travel link. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna populate tons of information for you. For example, you know, you're driving and you wanna get gas and you wanna know there's an intersection with four gas stations on it, on each corner, you wanna know who has the cheapest gas. You can go right here to fuel prices and this is gonna populate all the gas stations in the area, the distance and then the price per gallon per gas. It'll show you when it was last updated and it gives you the ability then to go ahead and save some money on gas. I'm gonna go back here. Weather. We know it's freezing outside, but let's figure out how cold it is. Right now, 16 degrees. You can do the three and six hours, you know, 23 degrees, six hours from now, it's a heat wave. You can go five days. It's gonna give you a full five day forecast. Another great option, movie listings click that it's going to show you movie theaters in the area give you a little info about them so you can figure out okay you know what let's go see a movie where do you want to see a movie what time how do we get there it's all right here on the screen sports you can get sport news scores etc you can set your favorite teams for example you know you can go to ice hockey NHL Eastern Conference we're going to go with a uh, event schedule here and it's going to show you on each date what the schedule is and you can go through and figure out you know what's going on with uh, your favorite team their schedule and the scores again my name's nick king this is kind of a brief introduction to the uconnect 8.4 system there's a lot of great options on it it's the most sophisticated system that's in any vehicle good luck